as many Iranians today say, we owed one to the religious establishment to then see its true face when it starts getting distorted. Uh, I think many Iranians never thought that a clergyman of the same cloth, like Khamenei, would put in prison another Ayatollah of the same faith and torture him. I don't know how many of us thought this could be possible. Now we have seen it. Um, so this experience was very costly, no question. But has it served for us to grow and learn from it? Absolutely, there's no question about it. Are we better placed today? And I have to use the, the term, forgive me for a second if I use a word that you will not recognize in English, from khurafat to the understanding of religion as opposed to religious government. Secularism as opposed to what we have. And to understand that being secular doesn't mean for a second that you're anti-religious. We simply understand that as a prerequisite to democracy, there has to be separation between religious and government. Have we grown mature enough to say, respective of the statistics, we should, ought not have an official religion, but all faiths should be free in Iran. We should not be any more surprised that this regime would not allow, let's say, an Iranian Sunni to even have a mosque in our country, whereas under a secular system, religions equality, ethnic equality, citizens' equality is preserved and guaranteed, particularly if you have a constitution that is based on the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So we could not have valued these principles as much had we not experienced what happened. And in that sense, I think if it took us 1,400 years to, uh, to get some bearing on, on religion, these 35 years in the annals of history is not such a long time. But will it serve the country's uh, interests in the end if we draw the right conclusion from it? I have no doubt about it. I think we are better now than we were 35 years ago in understanding things that we never really had a chance to actually fathom and sense, but now we do.